The question number 26 says that the scientist who is credited for his work in unification of electromagnetism and optics is the Faraday, Sir C. V. Raman, Maxwell or Abdus Salam. Now this is from the first unit. The unification of electromagnetism and optics was done by Maxwell. So answer to this question is the Maxwell. So option 3 is the correct option. Let's move to the question number 27. The question says the percentage error in the measurement of radius of the sphere is given 0.2%. Then the maximum percentage error in the measurement of its volume will be. These are the four options. Now, error in R, radius, delta R by R into 100, it's given equal to 0.2%. Maximum percentage in the volume. So, we have to find the relation between volume of the sphere and its radius. And to find the error analysis, delta V by V is equal to the constant eliminated delta R by R or delta V by V into 100 is equal to 3 times delta R by R into 100 and this is given equal to 0.2%. So, we will fill the value. This is 3 into 0.2% and this becomes 0.6%. So, error in the volume measurement will be equal to 0.6% and that is your option number 1. So, answer to this question is first option. Let's move to the next problem. The question number 28 says that the resistance of two resistors is measured as 20 plus minus 0.2 ohm and 40 plus minus 0.2 ohm. The maximum absolute error in their series combination will be. Dear students, the series combination resistance is equal to R1 plus R2 and in the combination of errors, the absolute error will be equal to the sum of the individual errors. And from the options delta R1 and delta R2 and C, delta R1 is given equal to 0.2 ohm and delta R2 is given equal to 0.2 ohm. So, fill up the value. So, delta RS will be equal to 0.2 plus 0.2 and you get 0.4 ohm as the absolute error in combination. So, in series combination, answer is to this question, option number 2. Let's move to the next problem. Question number 29 says, which of the following statement about the significant figures is incorrect? First one, all non-zero digits are significant. If you remember, it's a true statement. The trailing zero in a number having a decimal points are not significant. And what is the trailing zero? Like I write 0 0.235000. He says that after the decimal, these zero are not significant. That's a wrong statement. That's wrong. Therefore, this become the correct option. Incorrect statement. So, answer to this question is option number 2. Question number 30 says, a round of 2.645 to 1 decimal place. I mean, after the decimal, you have to keep only one digit. And see, this is given 2.645. Now, to reduce it to 2 decimal, the 5 will go, and but this is even, so this becomes 2.64. But you have to keep only 1, this is less than 5, so this reduces to 2.6. So, the correct answer is option number 1. So, answer to this question is the first option. 